What's up guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon video and today or at least some point recently posters have started going up around Japanese stores because apparently I think it's like the, the game's sort of um yeah pre-order time is about ready so they're putting up you know, pre um, sort of advertisements I suppose and this post actually shows us more than we've sort of heard in regards to the story and the game in general than any trailer um, at all. So you can see here if I show you the poster, there's a lot on it. So first up you can see the two protagonists in the centre, pretty standard, followed by the three load of starters, you know, Free Marina, Decidueye and Incineroar, pretty standard there. But the interesting stuff is below and above that. So below first we have images of Gladion, Lily, Cosmog and of course How, as well as in the background Ultra Soul Glare and Ultra Lunala, or I suppose I should call them the Cosmos forms. So First up, this, this tells us that these characters are going to be returning, it would seem. Uh, Lily, interestingly, is using her new design, or her second uh, design, costume, appearance, whatever, from the original games. Now this could mean either one, it's the same as the original game, in which case that's that's fair, Nothing nothing's really changed there at all. Um, but it could also hint at the fact that she might turn into this form, I'm calling it a form, you know what I mean, uh, earlier in the game. And the other thing to talk about is that she's holding a Pokeball. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean she's going to be a trainer, but it could mean that she graduates towards that earlier in the story, as opposed to right at the end, so we might get to battle her at some point, or she might be a bit more integral to the actual storyline. Not that she was uh, not integral, um, but you know, she might appear as a trainer and actually battle against the Ultra Beasts, or something along those lines. The other very interesting part is then at the top of the poster where we see these shadowy figures. Now, you can't really tell who they are at all. Um, you can see behind them there's like a black hole and there's like a black circle and also some colours which are related to Necrozma. But these figures look a lot like members of the Ava Foundation because of their outfits. They look very similar. There's some white, there's some grey colours, there's also some gold you can imagine, but you can't really see it because of the shadowy um, sort of overlay I suppose you can call it. So who are these people? Well the top guess of course is that they are AFA admins, um, you know just four people it would seem we have three on the left and one on the right so maybe the one on the right is the main big boss uh, and the other three are just you know sub admins. Now the question with that is where is Lusamine, where is Faber and where is Wick because those are the three members of the AFA foundation we knew about from the original games. Why are they not featured in this at all? Um, possibly they are still members of the foundation but these four here are the ones that are this time being the actual antagonists they're members of the organization that is hoping to possibly you know maybe release the ultra beasts as opposed to just study them maybe lucimine this time doesn't turn mental and maybe mon is still alive something like that um and you could work it like that with these four of them being the, the, the proper antagonists hence why they're shattered in darkness and it wouldn't make much sense to put wick up there of course because She's not really a pure antagonist, she sort of just was just a member of his foundation and didn't know what Lucimine's true plan was. Uh, whereas Faber, yes, okay, he's a, he's a proper antagonist, so you could see Faber being one of these members up here. He could even be the one on the right, you just can't see his face, and he might have had a redesign. So we don't know much about the if foundation this time around. Lucimine possibly couldn't, you know, not even be part of the if foundation. She could be completely different, so she could have quit as president when they found out they weren't going to abuse the Ultra Beasts or something like that. As I mentioned, Mon might still be alive, in which case they might have not continued working for the F Foundation. Who knows? There's a load of different possibilities, and these four shadowy figures, shadowy admins I'm going to call them, um, may shed a bit more light on what we can expect. Now the question that comes up of course is, are these games going to be that different from Sun and Moon? Um, currently it looks like there's going to be some changes in terms of a foundation, but we still can't tell if there's going to be any pure changes in terms of storyline. It might be the same sort of thing, you're going around doing the island trials, and then just replace Solgaleon and Allah from the Crosma, and then maybe have a few more Ultra Beasts to spill out, and you could basically have the same storyline, and we, don't, we can't confirm that that's not the case. The admins might just be a case of they're replacing Lucibine and Faber, um, and you know, just, just some changes there, similar to how Pokemon Platinum changed around, you know, some admins or adding an extra admin Charon um, to Galactic, and maybe it works in like that as one possibility there. Of course, we won't know until we get a proper trailer. Um, it's like, well, I would also say it's likely that we get a new trailer soon because we literally just got one, so I'd have to say I have to wait a few more weeks till we actually find out who these figures, these members are, because of course. Generally, the way it works is if they reveal it in Jap in, you know, to Japan, they reveal it then to, uh, in English uh, or to worldwide a bit later on, and vice versa. Um, but of course, as we've just gotten a trailer, 
uh, with the latest Nintendo Direct. It might be a bit longer before we actually see who these members are properly. But that's just my speculation there. We could see at any point. So let me know down below in the comment section what you think. Who do you think these admins are? Do you think they're going to be related to Lusamine and Faber? Do you think Lusamine is just not going to be working for a foundation anymore? Maybe she'll be a protagonist, I suppose. Um, or do you think she's just not being shown and is still going to be the president with these admins working as her underlings to help her, you know, move the pieces of her master plan? Let me know down below in the comment section what you think and also let me know what about, you think about Lily too because do you think she's going to be a trainer or do you think it's just like a tease and it's going to be the same sort of progression as the original games? Let me know in the comments but for now this is going to be it for today so I should be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye my friends.